Okay. Spawning on the top left corner, we have Mr. Spoonmaster from Bongosu playing from EU. Bottom right, Orange Botas, also from the same team, Bongosu. It's Mr. Gluffalo. Okay, guys. Okay, never mind. I thought this was a bit more forward, but um, this map is just a little bit. A bit too cramped. What is the first building gonna be? It's a delayed gateway. But it's fine. Mostly should see two gateways coming here from both players. And uh, we'll see if there are gonna be any shenanigans, proxy pylons, or Quick tech from either player. Poon cutting a bit of work here. Immediately chrono boosting. He's also cutting a worker. I don't know if that's common these days, but um, doesn't seem too optimal. Cybercore going down for Spoon. Two seconds faster than Gluffalo. This might not be. A big deal, but um, especially in the mirror matchup, where things can escalate really fast, these seconds can snowball rather quickly. As a spoon able to get a scout off these two gates, missing second pylon, and um, spoon himself is has his second pylon in the main base. Two stalkers on the way. See what units Gluffalo prefers. And he's a bit supply blocked. He's gonna be supply blocked for a really long time here. As um these pylons are only finishing up now, whereas Spoon's stalkers are halfway done without Chrono Boost. Stalker Stalker as well. Already I'm not too much of a fan of Gluffalo's position here as uh Spoon is posing to take a natural. He's heading to potentially see this actually with a probe scout. The third gateway. Stalker's also in position. This should be shut down relatively quickly. And um, had Gluffalo has his stalkers out faster, they would have been here by now. Potentially able to defend his position, but seeing as his first two stalkers were really delayed, he has to up to go for his stuff in the base and uh, Spoon gonna decide to throw down a Nexus here momentarily going for a Stargate actually, we missed that getting thrown down Shade battery for safety and Nexus is thrown down see a cheeky probe here maybe just looking for more proxies as uh see a quick blink here. I was wait, Spoon's probe was there the whole time. Sees the Twilight Council. Sees the tech, sees the additional gateway in the back. No, so there's gonna be aggression coming up. Gonna be able to see and prepare in advance. He's already making the void ray as uh, he doesn't wanna die to shenanigans here. But Buffalo sides maybe Boon got too much of a early info with that one probe. Sides to throw down the Nexus as well. Despite this being very committed. This early toilet and blink. For now Eco wise they should be rather equal. Even though Spoon has his second base coming up, it's only gonna be Beneficial now, as uh, he hasn't really been making workers. Still cutting a bit more probes to get some more units out, as uh, he's really afraid of the blink stalkers. But uh, without any air units to spot the uh, high ground, they're not really gonna be able to do much of a 
blink here other than oh there you go i am i stand corrected there is a phoenix here able to provide that blink up into the main base but uh with this minute stalkers and uh this voider here as well and the shield bash on the uh, the guardian shield on the sentry should be easily defendable even a shield battery here spoon is very much ready for this attack gets to clean up Quite a few stalkers. Um, loses three stalkers, four one sentry, and has the faster nexus. Should be in quite a good position here. As the uh, scuffles continue, croning out observers. And uh, actually, Gluffalo took up the worker lead now with uh, Spoon. Maybe cutting a little bit too much on the workers. Attacking into the shield battery, not really oh, dodging that one stalker volley, avoiding the death of this stalker here. Quite okay. But I don't think he's going to be able to do any more damage with only stalkers. Forge coming up, Twilight Council. Boon is ready to transition into a longer game as a Gluffalo. Not quite sure where he wants to go. Throwing down an additional gateway before the third base. As uh maybe he wants to be a bit more on the safer side, seeing as he wasn't able to get too much damage done with his um three gate blink opening. For now these are two armies just gonna stare at each other. Not really gonna do much. Um <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Um, you don't want to be poking this here. Even popping the Guardian Shield. But uh, he's effectively denying this third base from being taken. As there's actually a cheeky to adapt warp in. Going off to the side. Um, I think if Spoon just gets one Immortal, this, this force is going to be pushed back. Uh, this Voidry unfortunately isn't really that good against Stalkers. Especially with Blink because they can easily just blink away before they die from the Voidry beam. As uh, we do see the Adepts here finding quite a bit of pro damage. 7 already before they get taken care of. Forces these Stalkers to retreat as well. As uh, eventually Blink's Onto the other adept, actually, so that the first adept that the stalkers were shooting at survived a little bit longer than should have. Shaving off 13 workers, but despite that, Gluffalo still has the worker advantage. That is the power of 3 Nexi with Chrono Boost onto the Nexus. And uh, Spoon gonna be really behind on economy here as uh, with this base mostly. Saturated. Gonna be rather tough from here on out to match Galafalo's production. Also going for double forage upgrades. This is actually uncommon to see in PvP. Normally you would just go only for one forge, but seeing as everything else was late. Sees that he might be needing to catch up on upgrades. So um, this forge is idle, we have plus one already done, there you go. Charge is actually also done for Spoon. Not only wanting to opt for that blink as a... has vision of this third base. Probably knows he's quite a bit behind in eco. Gonna hope to equalize that with some more gas heavy units. And uh, I think he just killed his own unit there, I don't think there was a... Observer got picked off. They're both both players just happily macroing away. Colofo just wanting to extend his economy lead even further, getting this fourth base on the right hand side. Boon, only now able to reap the benefits of his th own third base. Actually, quite a lot of gateways here. We do see seven. Actually, that's eight. I am unable to count. 
And uh, see a bit of a scuffle here as the run by runs straight into Spoon's army. Shouldn't be able to get anything done here. Was the War Prism is flying out. Essentially, going to do some counter harassment. And uh, Glyphalo being um, out here on the map, just trying to see if can, can find any opening. You can see the Zealot scuffles have begun. Both of these players wanting to do run buys, already pulling the probes away, sending the army back to deal with this. And um, another huge warp in here into the main base, gonna wreck some more havoc. But uh, Stalker's actually in position here. They're gonna die really quickly, if not blinked away, or no shield battery is nearby. So let's warped in defensively, and the cannon is doing quite a lot of work. Able to get the cannon, so gotta be good for future invisible men on vice as uh Glyphalo cleans that up pretty handily. Has his wall of cannons ready to fend off more run buys in the future. So there's a random immortal being sacrificed here. As that mist rally is gonna be very expensive. Probably see here um the Unis lost time is gonna be favoring Spoon here. But um maybe the earlier basis to be able to make up for the disadvantage in resources traded out as a uh, Phoenix can scatter around. These their cannons up in Spoon's base, Dark Shrine finishing up. And now both of these players just wanted to see poke out a little bit. Be out on the map. And another Zealot run by gets spotted. We're able to clean this up pretty easily. As, uh, actually, there's one cannon. Okay, yeah, this should be able to defend this even in range of shield battery. Now, Spoon. Poking here at the fourth base, though I'm not sure if this is the best angle. Actually, this is quite good because Glofalo's army is getting clumped up here and unable to really have them all shoot at once. Pink forward, tries to target down the Void Ray, gets it, and Spoon has to retreat. So he might see that there's quite a bit of an army difference here. Glofalo pushing out with 30. Well, now 20 army supply. 12 probes actually going down here from the DTs. Slipping through and... Um, let's see if uh, Spoon can hold on here. The army is already on the shield battery. Unable to utilize this super, power, uh, super battery here. And um, Spoon's army getting stuck here in this corridor. Having the same fate as before. And now the Zealot Warping from behind is going to be able to chew down onto this army. It's very effective. Killing some more probes here. It's a massive zealot warping tries to defend the DTs. Actually killing off this Nexus that was left alone for quite a long time here. And uh, suddenly Spoon here is on the offensive. He manages to pull back Clefalo's entire army back into his main base. Potentially sniping the Nexus. Though I think it's going to be too much of a task. He's gonna sacrifice most of his army to get this Nexus killed, but I'm really not sure if that was worth losing that many units. Despite having already killed off Nexi already, and um, Glefalo deciding he has had enough of this, doesn't want to fix his mineral lines, and decides that this is the best moment for him to strike. And Spoon is down in army supply and uh, with no splash here as besides from the archons it's gonna be very difficult to handle all of these gateway units but um we do see here that the zealots are gonna get melted by these archons with plus three ground units attack actually so all you need to do is get back to the shield battery here and um hold on as uh, he will have the superior economy here seeing that Gluffalo is Neglecting his mineral lines. Spoon able to push back the forces. Actually getting really, really close here. 
of the reinforcing with more zealots. So um, blinking away, letting his zealots just get mowed down, and also his stalker force here on the bottom getting cleaned up by spoons, zealots, and maybe now he will um fix his economy. Um, because this is gonna be hurting him quite a lot, actually. Even though they seem to be even on minerals, actually, Spoon is quite a bit, a little bit ahead by like a few hundred mineral um, income. He should be out mining Spoon here by quite a bit of a margin, as he does have the worker advantage still. Finally gets up defenses for the prisms, uh, for the DTs and the prism here on standby. Both players just trying to recover from their losses. And um, none of them really going for some higher tech as uh, gonna, both are gonna remain on that gateway style. And um, this disruptor is a bit unfortunate. Heals off this gate, this warp gate to free the path of the robo. Getting DT blink as well. Gonna be very handy in freeing up Glufflo's mineral lines from their cannons. And we're gonna see here potentially another big fight as um, Glufflo decides to not let his Zealots get eaten up by Archons. Yes, yeah, getting more batteries. Now we're seeing Robobay being thrown down by Gluffalo. So, eventually gonna see some more disruptors coming in play now. DT gets killed. And another base gets taken here. So far, it's actually been quite even. Spoon losing a bit more gas, but um, it's gonna be a given since he has been on less bases for a while now, and we have a huge zealot on zealot scuffle here with one DT, and also a big <clears throat> clash of these two armies. But with the battery and with the immediate warp in, should be able to defend this pretty easily. Also cleans up the Zealot run by on the top with that one DT helping out. It'll be rather huge as uh, Boon once again deciding this is the time for him to press down on the pedal and be on the offensive as he finds himself in quite a huge army supply lead. And if Glufflo doesn't make those Disruptor units now, then he's going to be in some big trouble. As more units are streaming in, Warprism reinforcing immediately. These units are falling left, right, and center, as well as Archons and dis Disruptors. Killing those stalkers, blinking away, and uh, first game is going to be on Spoon. And now we'll be seeing if there are going to be any more shenanigans, just like we've seen in the previous game, or if any player is going to be opting for a bit of a more standard approach earlier next time, or if they are going to be favoring that tech before the Nexus. But for now, I'm liking this opener a bit more for both of them. Hopefully no more probe cutting. And just continuous for production with 
their gateways being put down at the proper timings. But uh, so far, Glufflow not opting to mine too much gas yet. So we'll see what he wants to go for. So, Subcore thrown down at around the same time. Already got a bit of a scout off, so he's confirms two gate. With Spoon here doing the same thing, sees the second pylon in the making. And uh, the flow should be heading right back into spot Spoon's own second pylon being built. Or um, decides that he's satisfied enough with seeing the setup here. Gonna be adept adept here for a spoon this time around, <laughs> as well as for Gluffalo. So they both kind of be wanting to do the same thing, but um, we'll see if there are any weird shenanigans here. As we see this probe here making a pylon and this probe here making a pylon here, this is gonna get weird, guys. As um, this and this location right here is. Very, very likely gonna be for a proxy target. As a more adept being built here, Buffalo halting unit production here for a moment to get an earlier target. Actually, it's kind of the same timing. Maybe he wants to get that earlier Nexus as there's a scuffle here in the middle of the map with Both of them losing one adept each. Um, but now Spoon has three adepts to Gluffalo's single adept. And no other gateway unit being produced. Now this adept is going to be hunted down. Shade being thrown into the main base, but there's a block. Shouldn't be able to get anything done here. Let's the shade finish. These targets are done. Should be seeing an oracle on both sides. There you go. And with these mineral lines, oh, there's a shield battery for Gluffalo, which is absolutely huge. As um, the Oracle Beam doesn't quite pack the punch to out DPS the shield battery. Does a little bit, but probes are going to die very, very slowly. See another Adept Scuffle here with Spoonmaster coming out on top. But little does he know, it's going to be an Oracle pulsing, using his pulsing beam. To kill these probes. Five already falling. Gonna be a sixth one, a seventh one. And um Spoon with his own Oracle gonna find the mineral line with the battery here. Gonna be unfortunate. But these adepts are gonna shade in. It's gonna be a lot of shield battery energy that's gonna be drained, but also you can just power through the with the adepts and instantly two shot the workers. Probes are being pulled, stalkers are getting warped in to defend, but now the Oracle has free reign to kill these probes outside of shield battle range, but now they go back into the mineral line in their safety as a Spoon decides to just hunt these stalkers. But potentially he could delete this entire mineral line if he wanted to. So for now, just content with what he has initially gotten and uh, tries to not float too much. Now the shield battery energy is actually completely drained. And we do see another oracle here. With some fresh energy. As uh, now with two oracles and the depleted shield battery. Gonna be a lot more dangerous for Mr. Orange Protoss. As both of them actually quite even on workers now again, but uh, that is soon going to change with these oracles flying right in with the stalkers out of position, instantly zapping them, timing them so that the shield battery can't even recharge the battery, the shields, and there we go, 2-0 for Spoon. Now with Spoon being on match point, will we see 
something cheeky come out of Buffalo to catch Spoon off guard, or will Spoon be the one to do that and settle this match? They both seem to do identical things in both of the games so far. So we'll see if... Oh, there you go. There's going to be the variation here. From Buffalo sending out two probes. And um, he... Going for a low ground cannon for now. Um... Yeah, Spoon is not going to be able to spot this as um, Gruffalo's second probe is coming in here. He should be able to instantly pull probes here and get this probe on the high ground. Because that is going to be the main thing here that's going to drive this. And uh, instantly walling off, so that's really good from, from Spoon. But uh, Salot on the way. And the cannon should be finishing up before at least this pylon goes down. And um, Spoon should should be in, in a good shape here. Okay, never mind. He is not anymore in a very good spot because had he killed off the this probe here and the cannon and the pylon, then he's gonna be in a better, much better spot. There you go. Um, that's exactly what he needs to do. Gets the pylon and the probe. It gets a cyber core down as well. So that's all that she wrote really. And um, spoon is not really doing what he should be doing here. Is suiciding these probes to a cannon that is not powered up. But um, he really needed this cybernetic core up and running. Otherwise, this cannon is just gonna mow down this pylon and allow the probe here to just walk back up and place a cannon here in range of the mineral line here. But a spoon having lost way too many probes unnecessarily um, is unable to afford the soccer only now, which is very very late. Now Gluffalo is gonna be throwing down three cannons here I imagine. And there you go and um, this is pretty much a death sentence here. Two cannons, one pylon, another cannon. In range of the Nexus, and Stalker is not even out yet. So, um, this is gonna be looking very rough here. Shield battery also missing, and uh, not enough gas for the second Stalker. Maybe gets the probe, doesn't even get the probe. And these cannons are gonna be wailing on the probes here. And now it's... Pretty much just gonna be the end here for Spoon. And uh, okay. See if there's gonna be another forge thrown down, or if it's gonna be gateways again. I imagine Gluffalo won't be throwing down another forge here. As, um... Poon almost held it without taking too much damage. And it's gonna be more difficult. Actually, there might be some good spots here and here. For the cannons, so... Early scout here from Buffalo again. We'll see if he's gonna be mind gaming Spoon here. As uh, the scout timing with the probe is slightly off here. See if Spoon reacts at all. Not really. So he's gonna see that there's nothing going on here. Gateway's okay, finishing down. No core here, yet. 
slightly delayed, but Glafilo finding himself down to workers probably forgot to Chrono Boost, as uh, he does have that 50 energy more on on the Nexus. Maybe saving it up for Warp Gate or some other shenanigans, as there's the proxy third pylon here with the decoy second pylon in the main base. And uh, as we see here, there's this probe here that's walking in a rather suspicious position as well. So maybe they're going to be proxying each other again as Pylon is thrown down. Gofalo, probably going to be a okay gateway. No, it doesn't really have the gas. There you go. This is looking more like a another Stargate. Or Twilight, actually. So... Two adepts, two stalkers. Let's see if uh, Gluffalo is gonna be having a probe here to close down the wall for these adepts. But meanwhile, only now the adepts are just gonna stay in the base. He's gonna pull them up and probably gonna throw down a DT shrine over here. Stalker's just parked right outside Spoon's natural. Maybe see this shade. He does see the shade and uh, decides to not chase after them or decides to just not do anything about it. Um, more Stalkers on the way out on the map and they're gonna just barely miss each other. Spoon may be realizing that as he has the Adept selected. Now he should know that... um going to be more and more stalkers here on the way here for Gluffalo as a DT Shrine has been placed. This time with a full wall off, no expansion. This is going to be quite a wild ride as um, the DT Shrine is still quite a bit far off. But for now, Spoon is going to be having to deal with this amount of stalkers. It's going to depower these gateways that are going to be warping in future units as there's only one pylon to power this entire thing here with the battery. And um, Spoon actually having killed the pylon somehow, these adepts, um, but with the stalkers here on the high ground and another wall off, it's gonna be a GG from Spoon special again. Or if we're gonna see someone be more confident in their macro play and just playing it safe. Um, these pylons don't really seem like cannon pylons, and there's no probe going out early on the map. So we're gonna see gateways here as expected. Again with the early scout from Gluffalo, just wanted to see and confirm that there is no weird shenanigans. So really in PvP, you don't really need to scout that early because you're either going to see it before your scout reaches their base or there's really nothing much to scout. You can easily scout after this second gateway and see that there's nothing up. And even then, as we can see, with the decoy second pylon thrown down, um, from in la in the last game, um, there was still gonna be a proxy, but um, here we already see a bit of a blunder here from Gluffalo actually forgetting the cyber core. No second pylon, and a bit of a probe cut here, so not quite sure what he was preoccupied here with here. But um, this might be very very costly especially seeing as these early game scuffles have been decided by the early gateway units 
and um, we see another proxy pylon over here on Spoon's side. And Spoon deciding he wants to spot this and play it safe. Kills the probe in inside his main base. Denies the scouting for now. And uh, should be able to spot this pylon. There you go. Even attacking the, the probe here. And a spoon now. Maybe going for his own proxy. But uh, for now, should be pretty confident about finding this proxy. As uh, Kuflo opts for the Toilet Council. Pumping us stalkers. Neither player has really shown that they want to go for that quick natural expansion. But um Spoon actually throwing down his Nexus before any tech. Pumping out quite a bit of units first. Uh, but just wants to be safe. For taking his natural. As uh, we see charge on the way here. That is very, very uncommon. Especially in even more so in PvP as the first upgrade as um as Protoss you do have quite a few tools to deny zealots in the form of force fields and just clumping up your units in like tucking them here so to reduce the surface area. And um Poon also going for the Twilight Council. Already have the shield battery down here. Shouldn't be able to find any damage. There's uh, more stalkers being warped in here. And then uh, we see a robo facility. More gateways probably. And... So let's just parked outside the natural. <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. Maybe this is the new meta now. Going charge. In PvP. As, uh, not sure if Spoon was able to get a scout off. He did see the Twilight Council. And, um, see here, Buffalo has no vision of Spoon's tech. Buffalo's finding the Sentry Scout. Be able to see that there's no Nexus here. And that should already be. Ringing his alarm bells as um, just crawling out this charge upgrade. Now should be see that there should be seeing that there's no nexus here. Should see these fast walking zealots. Not sure if he's be he's gonna be paying attention though. But um, I think he should have enough info with these additional gateways here and the robo that there's gonna be some sort of drop coming his way. Could be just making units here as a uh, quite a setup here with two batteries, zealots as well, and this cuff, this attack here should not be able to do anything. Only way he can do damage here is if he somehow gets to find a blind spot here and ferry the units up, but um, could be nasty. If he... Okay, we'll see what he does with these units. But um, there's an Observer here. Poon should just park his units here and uh, see what he can do with this. But um, I think this could be devastating if Spoon doesn't realize what is going down here. These two sentries and the very upward. See, he has enough energy for a potential recall here. But um, oh, he kind of gives himself away but now he <laughs> yeah with the with the force field down the ramp actually this is a bit of a derpy derpy move here as um bought himself quite a bit of time here realizing what was going on now the force field ran out he should just recall into the main base but i'm not sure if he realizes that he can do that um boon just gonna be locked out of his base a little bit longer there's gonna be a recall into the natural to save his probes but now the um, Army of Spoon is able to get up into his own base, and the Zealots in the back are just derping, not really doing much. Um, Shade Battery here is overcharged. So now we're gonna see 
that this isn't really gonna do anything besides few um, gateway unit trades and <laughs> we can see some balance one here and Spoon takes the series.